The name of the show is The Way to Go. My name is Alan Bendich. I'm going to be your host. Tonight's guest is Max Bendich once again, folks. Welcome to the show, How are you, my son? Aaron. Alan. Alan. Aaron's my son, but that's okay. Uh, it's all in the family. Right? All in the family. So I, I, I wanted to stop home before because I would have brought home a brand new, beautiful award that we won yeah. for Best Series this year. The 2014 Best Series Award for LMC TV. And you know why we got it, Pop? Because of you. No, because, thank you. That's it. Those words, I, I, I look forward to those kind of words. That's it. But I'm glad. I'm That's glad it. about one thing. Yeah. I'm able to participate in something that is so br brand new for me that I never even thought of it before. Yeah, and the other thing that's good is that you know that people are watching because, you know, it, it's, and it's nice. It's nice to have recognition, and it's really nice to be, you know, we've done over 60 episodes of the show already, Pop. Can you believe it? And you and I have done about 30, oh, almost 30 of them. So uh, isn't that amazing? But the people where I am, I'm in Kite House, yes. and the people that I am, and they watch it, and, and, they, and we talk about it, and they say the same thing. You know what? It's because of you. <laughs> it's because of you. <coughs> this program, I think, is going to be okay. Why? Because you, at your age, no one, no, I said don't say no one, but no one does a thing like this. I know, and it's true, though, Pop. And I, I, I don't think there's many shows that just have a, a father and a son talking like this. I, I mean, told you, I went into I never spoke to you in know, my life, 199 years. Oh, not 100 yet, Pop. Not, 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 no not, rush it, no not rushing. I think starting today or yet, the 25th, yes. again, nine more months. Unbelievable. But the other thing that's an interesting fact is that just a couple of days ago, uh, or actually today's the 24th? 24? Yeah, uh, yesterday was the day that uh, was June 23rd. Mm -hmm. And June 23rd is the 45th anniversary of you getting shot. And look at you, you know. I mean, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. And I told you this before. I, there are two kind of lucks, Alan. Good luck and bad luck. And both of them, even with bad luck, I told you, yeah. because you just reminded me, right. bad luck can help you out. Yes. And here I, I got shot. Right. And people, and doctors came right out on the left side, and the doctor, I said this before. Right, say it doctors, again. And doctors mm -hmm. came running over, who was this guy who had shot on the left side? Yeah. And here I'm going home. Alan, I'll never forget that. I looked out of the window. I went to the, to the window, I looked out of the window. It was on 145th Street. And I saw people walking and people talking and you know, automobiles and everything. And I wouldn't have been there. I would have been dead. Right. And Alan, there's something to it. Those words, there's something to it that life goes on. Right. And I'm going on with it. And, I, and I, I'm te actually maybe teaching. Nothing matters. Alan, right. nothing matters. Believe it or not, think of it. People fighting for this and people for, and hollering at each other. And I'm sitting there, and they, want, and they want to get me involved. I said, sorry, what are you talking about? What does it mean? Nothing. And Alan, yes. I'm happy for one thing. One day is the same as another. Birthdays, uh, uh, married, is that? they're the same thing. You hope to get over, wait, you hope to participate. Right. And I'm a participator. I'm a, I really. I'm not only a participant, I'm part of the, I'm part of the action, you can say. You know, I'll tell you, uh, I was looking at uh, the Facebook page for Kate House, which is the social media page, yes. and I'm looking and um, there's like pictures of the participants. Right. And I see you doing one thing, I look at another picture of you doing something else, and you're with all these people doing something else. But the one thing I did notice is that most of the participants in each one of the different activities seem to be the same participants. Like if there are participants here, there'll be participants here, and there'll be participants in there. And it seems like there's a group of active people where you live, but it seems like there's probably a bigger group of inactive people where you live. Not only a big, Alan, 90% of them right. aren't participants. And it's a shame. Why? First of all, I told you, the cheapest place or the most expensive place, 
are the same places to go to. Right. And once again, wherever you are, and I'm talking to the people now, right. wherever you are, stay there. You won't get any better in a, in a more expensive place. You won't get any better in a cheaper place. Why? Who do you meet there? You meet people with walkers. You meet people walking. Uh, can't, they can't see. They're in chairs. Good people, right. but and they need aids. Can I, can I ask you a question, really? I mean, because you were a young man. Yes. You were a middle-aged man. Right. And now you're an older person. Right. When, when you know, you, you usually, I mean, people have a tendency, I mean, I, I speak to people older and younger than me, right. but we tend to be with our peers. Yes. What is it like to be an older person in your, in your view and see what, what time has done to people? I mean, in terms of, I, I, I could ask you any question, but I'm yeah. saying, you look at a person, you know this person was a vibrant young person. Had you know was in love, they, you know, you know, enjoyed the springtime, all this stuff, and now you see a person in their golden years, whatever you want to call it. When you look at a person like that, you know, I mean, or or, or you look in the mirror, or whatever you want to say. I mean, how how does it feel? I mean, when you look at people, I mean, unless I'm one of them, who knows? Alan, I don't feel old. No, but not you, okay? But I'm talking about you look at the people over All right, there. I look at and the... these are the people you live with. Yes. Okay? So you see them every day. I see them. You see them every meal. You see them in activities and the people who aren't at activities. Is it, is it something that is a hurtful thing? I mean, does it hurt to see people like that? Is it, I mean... It's not that you... You can't do anything about it. Right. No, really, you can't. And to help them out, usually I sing songs. So I see songs right. and... the. Why do I know this, Alan? And that's beautiful. I, I look for that. Here's this old lady, an old lady. Well, this Younger old, than you, but yeah, an old yeah. lady. <laughs> this, old, this old lady sitting there with her mouth, she's saying the same words that like, I'm saying. Like lip syncing? Yeah, yeah, that's like, right. Yeah. And, it's, and one, quite a few times when it's my turn, everybody gets up if they want. It's called, uh, you get the mic. Yeah. The, uh, open mic. Open mic. And I go over to these two women, and I give it to them. She doesn't, get, and I hold it. And you actually, I, I what do I sing? I sing Yiddish songs. Why not? I sing everything. But she, they know the Yiddish song, but they, but they don't have the, they don't and, have the energy and, and, to get it out. All in them when I so uh, even when we were with uh, your uncle Jaime, remember he was lying down there, 106 years, 105, whatever he was. And you started singing songs with him, and he started singing. And I could see in your eyes the pleasure you got for having him, bringing him out of his shell. All right. of I didn't think we would be talking about that. Good, with Uncle Jaime, because the family will look right. at it. So we're there, and I'm talking to Uncle Jaime, and I start singing. Uh, tumbala, a, a little, like a, that, maybe, whatever it was. Tumbala, I have it on. Uh, <laughs> tumbala, tumbala. And he, had, he gets him with the tumbala like, uh, and, and then we start talking about where we lived I before. Know. We lived in the South Bronx on 136th Street. And what did he say? The same thing. We lived in 136th Street, and between, uh, what he didn't, I said between St. Oh, between St. Anne's and Brick Avenue. He started remembering. And uh, right. he remembered that. I remember. And who was looking also, his son, Oh, oh, I know. And, and Pam. And, and Pam was well, there. I, I, and guess who else was there? Aaron and Kara. I it don't agree. Oh, the family was the there. The whole family was but there. I, I think I was even closer to him than I am to you. Oh, absolutely. And we were looking at you each other. He was lying down, and you were sitting right next to him, and you were singing, and he was singing with you. And it yeah. was like, wow. So, I mean, and, and it was a good day. And, and I'm glad about one thing. I don't see uh, 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 Aaron. No, his Al? son. Al. Al. I don't see his son too often, but you can see how he was looking at me, helping out his father. Right. And I and I'm saying, well, if he he's my uncle, you know. <laughs> and now. And isn't funny? You're 99 years old. You say he's my uncle, but I know it was a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like my uncle Jaime, who's over 100. Yes. So I mean, to me, it's 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 good genes. I mean, at least oh, it's luck. There it is. And, uh, Combination. Is, only because of Jaime. Right. They think of it because of me. Now I have to say that. I've, I've, I've been, my uncle and I was 106 years old right. and still going strong. That's it. And 
alert. That was a, the whole thing. So let's talk a little bit about script listen because I'm All really right. excited right. about this that. Is... You know, because this show now, you know, we, we we're doing the way to go now. Obviously, we've it. done it now. I think this is going to be. We're yeah. doing two episodes tonight: the 29th and, tw and 30th that we've done together. I think that's correct. Out of 62 episodes. So the, the, we're also doing another show called Scriptless. Yes. And we've shot four episodes already. One of them is completed, thank God, but I still got to get the disc in my hand. But we're shooting the fifth episode this weekend. And um, I'm beginning to, you know, like, I like, what, I like the, the direction it's going, but it's not, you know, it started off being a very personal show because I write it, I direct it, I produce it, I have you in it, I have Rebecca in it, you're, you're a great niece. Um, but I'm thinking, I'm th I've, been making, I've been thinking about bringing it back to the way I first envisioned it, which was not to be a soap opera that continues, but more of um, an opportunity to have like, like different 30-minute th like teleplays, you know, like just individual, rather than having one that goes on to the next, goes on to the next, goes on, and keep, you know, keep the same actors working on it. But I don't like, the whole thing, as it goes away, it's going further away from my vision of what I wanted the show to be. So what do you think about that? Or First of all, yes. I don't consider uh, scriptless a soap opera. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Forget okay. it. This is something that is being done, being acted, being we t talked about how without a script and the ideas come into my head and ideas come and they have to conform. Right. They have to conform one with the other because you know there's going to be something else eventually with something else. And I'm looking forward to it. Again. Forget what I said then. We're going to continue <laughs> with the show. <laughs> no. Well, no, really. No, but, I was gonna, but the thing is, I still wanted it to be scriptless. Yes. But I was thinking, why? I mean, is it, it to me, it seems even more interesting. Like, I was thinking about doing, even though we're going to be doing a movie about the, when you got shot, I was thinking about doing a half hour episode about a situation that was similar to you being shot with a young boy and grandparents and things like that. In other words, why limit yourself if you have the opportunity to create, limit yourself to the same characters con uh, continually going in, in one direction rather than bringing in different stories and seeing how that works. But, but with different, char I mean, uh, different characters, there are different situations. That's what I'm saying. And there are, there are different ideas knowing that eventually in your mind that the acting is going to be almost the same thing one for the other, right. and me, there's a or some maybe it means nothing changes. Well, that's right, and I agree with that. And the other thing about the one acting class I took when I was in Hollywood was a cold reading course. But really, what it was was that you got a scene and you had two actors, usually a, an actor and an actress, and it really wasn't as important as you know the words you were saying but really the feelings and the, if there was actually communication and if you know, people were actually talking with each other rather than at each other and if there was an emotional connection between the two. And sometimes I think the story is secondary to, uh, to the acting, you know what I mean? Because especially in these kind of improv, you know, the connection. I think the thing that makes, I mean the story is important, but I think what really is important is are these two people connecting? Are they? You know, is it an interesting situation that they're doing? Is there communication? Is there, you know, is it just the words or is there, you know, like the, the emotional communication? No. They, wait, with the improv, yes. something else could happen. As we're continuing, there's a possibility there's friction. Right. Instead of love, there's friction, meaning how, either we're going to continue with that thing. We, right. know, we don't know it yet, but right. we're talking and we're building up to something. And the, fr and the friction is either going to be the, m the, the maximum part of our talk or eventually it's going to be forgotten. Right. And, and we are going back again to the low part, to the liking and everything, because it's family. Right. And, but even if it's not yeah, but family, that's correct, because that's what scriptless is about, family. That's the whole thing. It's about dysfunctional family. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's about a family. But what it really, I mean, to me, it's more about I find it interesting just getting people in situations and seeing if they could actually talk to each other or, or what, 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 whether the emotion is bad, or good, whatever, if, if they give an opportunity for the other person to speak, things like that. Because that's another thing is like, 
part of the improv situation is not just talking, it's also listening. And <laughs> I had a long time discussion, maybe, I don't know with you, with other people about this. Sometimes, and it happened to me, and you're living in, I'm living in Kete House, and I realized one thing, I got me, I'm alone. But, uh, and, and there's a lady who's also alone. How do I go over to that lady and say, look, you gotta find, and I did it, believe it or not, those were my words, right. not the idea. Listen, you're a, you're a beautiful lady, and then I said, wait, look, don't watch it. Every lady here, I said, is a beautiful lady. Right. And, that's a, and what do I see with you? She's, and believe me, guess what she thought I'm gonna say, her breasts are, <laughs> your face. You said, now she, your, my face, I said, your face is not covered. Your hands are not covered. The rest of your body, and I call them the, uh, 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 the, the, the I forget the word, are you, uh, that every young girl, every old lady, and every, they have the same thing. But how do I go over to you and I talk to you? And there's a possibility you could say, and I, in my words, look, forget about it. And I said, good. It's better to know, to know it now than a year from now, forget about it. Right. And it's a difficult thing for a man to go over to a lady right. and, he, and, and a conversation. But <clears throat> then we start talking and then say a little bit, guess what we don't do? The majority of, and this is in life, right. the majority of the time, I'm talking about, we don't say a word. Silence is the most important part of a conversation. Right. You have to know how to handle silence. And then, that's a problem for both of us because we both love to talk so much. <laughs> that's the problem. No, no, I'm, si no, I'm, I'm serious too. I'm I mean, serious mm -hmm. because eventually yes. you could be walking and you don't, and the amount of talking, or you could hold a hand, whatever it is, you have to know how to handle silence. And if you think it's too long, maybe you can interject something. Right. But, and it works. Right. If you know it, but the other thing, like with, with, again, with improv though, because the camera's running, you always have the feeling, and you're on the camera, the, the, uh, your initial impulse is to talk because the camera's on you, you got a microphone. So the thing is, that's the time when sometimes it's best to listen rather than to talk. Right. Now that you said that about improv, I wasn't thinking about, you know, I was just thinking about people walking in a street. Oh, you're talking about real life. Real life. That's not important. <laughs> the only thing that's important is acting. We'd have to don't talk about acting. <laughs> Acting's more important than real life. But again, mm -hmm. but I'm seriously, I'm serious. Right. Silence, there's more silence to the people and it's good, at least they are together, Alan, they right. are not alone. And if you talk alone. all the time, you're gonna get a sore throat, so it's good no, to be silent. No, 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 I'm, no. Uh, think about it. I agree with I you, mean, but I'm, I'm agreeing and, with you. And I, I talk to them, and what, have, what do I say again? And, 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 uh, I wanna talk about me. <laughs> we have something on a Wednesday called the happy hour, but and they advertise it as saying, there's music, there's dancing and everything else. And that's a big room like this, maybe whole, it might hold 100 people. And there are tables, round tables and chairs. And I usually go, and there's a piano. This, let's say this is the piano, and I'm sitting right in front of it while I dance. And I either dance with the lady I am sitting with, me, sitting with right. or, and, and it's a shame about this lady, she doesn't want to dance so much, it's all right. And then I go over to a table that has about four or five women, and I dance with two, usually with two of those. I'm sometimes the only dancer. And I tell them, a slow foxtrot fella, and then another <laughs> fella. Uh, I like and no, that. They, yes. They, I they, love that, I love that. And then there's another couple, no more. Right. Two couples out of a, why, and again, they're all sitting by themselves. The women taken by themselves, and not to get the man or woman. Right. That a table with about three men or one woman, or four women, or and they, I don't know if they're satisfied. So, but when I go over, I take one this way, and I take one this way, and I, I'm the dancer. And I'm life the, is good, Papa. And and uh, now, uh, I talk to the other guy, and I talk to them. Nice fellow, nice people, 
Nope. What stops them? Is it is it because you can't get from point A to point B? There's no, no, I don't know. At it? first, at first, I thought it's, it's difficult to talk. Right. But many times, you meet them in the elevator, and they don't want to shut up. They keep on talking. <laughs> <laughs> and with me, let there be three women and one man. I tell the elevator. Sometimes there's an ele elevator. Go slow. I want it. The yards are in my favor. No, I try to make them feel. And Daddy, where does this come from? I, I mean, don't know, uh, and I think about that. How come that I'm one of the very few who is doing it? Who go even to a man, right. and I think I told you, right. that I went over to this man, a brand new guy, and we talked and everything else, and I said hello to him many, many times, and I talk, we went to management or something, to do, and he said to management, see this man? Three weeks in, in here, and he's the only one. I and you know, I told, I, I forgot who I told. I, I, I told Nana that, and, so, and her best friend, uh, Wendy's uh, mom, mm -hmm. that story. Because we, we were talking about that, how, you know, even in a place like uh, where the, they live, the classic, whatever the heck it's called, it's, 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 a, it's very fancy, very expensive, but people are alone there. You know, they dress nicer, oh, yeah. but that's it. They spend more money, but they're all alone. And you know they have the people who have lost it. The people who are they're all the same. It's, Alan. Everybody's the same. They're all the same. And they're paying three times as and, much as you are. And, and that's the way it is. And I tell them, originally when I went with uh, with, with mom, mom right? we went to three places. We went to the the uh, Jewish home near uh, near the Hudson River. Right. We went to the uh, uh, the one in Riverdale. The one on, on Johnson Avenue. Right. Uh, that's the, 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 fancy, the I, I don't know the, yeah. the, the A, the, and that's about at least. Well, I, I want to give a lot of money right. more. And what was it different? The food might have been a little different, better. I don't know. Better. Right. There's always fighting about the in, in the in the Kate house about the food. Right. Oh, it's too cold. So they make it more, it's too hot. <laughs> it sounds like the three bears. Uh, no, like uh, no. Yeah. Uh, but the idea of having harmony, yeah. they have harmony and they don't have harmony. Uh. So we went to those two places, yes. had a meal, the same thing, a meal. And, but uh, at that time, you know when it started, Alan? 20 years ago. Now try to imagine. The three of you, Alan, David, and Miriam, would come to me. David would be the, the uh, that's 20 years ago. <laughs> Pop, you're 80 years old. I said, about time that you go to one of these places. Right. But mom said, I'm sorry. I've been living here most of my life. Right. I don't want to. I said, look, dad, try to encourage her. I said, uh, we talk about it in the house, but she won't go. But at least we went to those three places. We went to this place over here where, that I am now. I was a bridge player. I'm not, I'm, I still remember. And there were about the three tables, that means three, 12 people were playing bridge. Boy, everything. So, but we didn't go. Ten, and yeah, David would say, what do you think? And he's a doctor. Dad, you think you're gonna live to be 90 with these statistics? Don't shovel snow. Oh, yeah. I became 90 years old. And that still talking about the same thing, shoveling <laughs> snow. We still, and mom is going, one thing about mom, she's getting a little, oh, I'm sorry, slowing older. down. Why? <laughs> Why? You didn't I'm get older, mom did. Older. I know, that's she's what She's getting a little, a little, and she's walking with a walker. And I don't even read, many times I don't even remember her with the, the truth. But, I, but then that comes to me, and I, I, had, I, I helped she her out. She bent it. over a little I bit. I helped her yeah. out. And uh, you're gonna, 10 years later, we go again to the same three places. But what did I notice? No more bridge. I know. Those six tables, two people play playing bridge, and one didn't even know about. Anyway, that doesn't mean anything. Mom is still saying the same thing. I'm not going, I'm a little, but after a while, she noticed it. But when I called you guys up and I told you, Alan or Dave or whoever, it must have been Dave or Mary, and I didn't, it wasn't you, you were the working guy. I said, I think we're, we're gonna go to Kate House. 
how fast it happened. I know. But, and it was good. They sold the house. They did and the this, way, maybe. They did no, the oh, house no, it took, took a while. It, it did take a while. Right. We had to fix the house. But what happened? When we got there, mom had a, maybe something with her urine. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, she had a problem. But where did she, where did she sit? Right near the ladies' room. Right. And we have a beautiful, what a library we I have. Know. And I would get her a book. Now, uh, Mac, come over here. What's the matter? I finished it. You must read it. What a book. All right. Get, get me another one. I, I go and I get a book. Mac, she loved it. I know. She had a lot of friends. She and loved it, having the meals. She loved the, the, everything. The, the, she loved uh, everything. She, she loved she, being pampered. She had a good time. I all right. Know. But it happens. Whatever happens, happens. And now with me. I'm going to be there. I mean, I, I know that. I mean, and I'm, I might be getting a little slower. And again, I feel, Alan, I feel, oh, I told that to David. David, and David is my oldest son. I said, Dave. And he's a doctor. And he knows, look at me. I feel like a kid. I think I said that before. And he says, Dad, you are a kid. <laughs> Well, you're, you're, you're having well, more fun than David and I, oh, that's yes, for sure. Right, right. <laughs> Alan, that's, you know that. You know David, that. Uh, David, Alan, Alan yeah. believe me, I am having fun. And you worked all your, you worked like a dog all your life, and uh, I think you even enjoy doing that. You know, uh, I think uh, you enjoy doing everything in your I life. I think I enjoy, that's right. And I don't know. That's uh, uh, yeah, well, how, why I don't know. Again, I ask myself, the, yeah. why is this well, happening? Uh, and all the, uh, it's amazing. Also, coming from where you came from as a child, you know, it's uh, it's hard to believe that you know. You, Maybe that, to be caught. Now turned out. I'm a guy who turns it around. Yeah. Oh, I also tell you, I'm a. I believe in second chances. I know. But, but you turn it around. Why aren't other people doing the same thing? Maybe they are. Uh, maybe eventually somebody asks, and they say, they don't pick on the right one. <laughs> and who was the right one? She could be sitting next to you, That's it. and you, you don't know it. See, but you, you're a person who grabs opportunities. Maybe that's Alan. And, Alan, I grabbed it. Yeah. And you also see the best in situations <clears throat> where other people might look at it and say, it's impossible. And you look, you look at it and you say, well, there's a possibility. And uh, Most of them say, Alan, when I think about it. Look, people are listening to me from Kate House also, right. and then everything else. It's an, it's an impos they think it's an impossibility. Yet, there was a time, not too many more people on a Wednesday, instead of two couples, there might have been four. Right. But that's all. There never were five. Yeah. In other words, there, were, there, there was hardly anybody dancing right. except me and a lady or accept this other fellow or the lady. And again, you know what? it hurts. I know, you know what, and I'll tell you, it really does hurt. You know what really hurts, Bob? Uh, and Take a guess what hurts. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> you know what? A, you know what it hurts? It always hurts when it gets to this point in the show. <laughs> and and, and there's, only, there's only one thing left to say, Dad. Okay? That's a wrap. Good night, folks. Can't explain this chemistry Something's coming